I'm going to show you guys a very interesting way to integrate this and that. Let's begin with the first one right here. So I'm going to write this as the integral. We know this is 1 over sine x, this is 1 over cosine x, and they are multiplying, so we can just write it as 1 over sine x times cosine x. Okay, that's good. Mm, what can we do though? Nothing too much, right? But keep in mind, whenever we're doing integrals, sometimes the more the better. Right here, we only have a 1 on the top. Not enough. But everybody knows. Sine squared x plus cosine squared is equal to 1. But we should also know 1 is equal to sine squared x plus cosine squared x. To continue, we can just put this over that and you see sine x right here and that cancel out. So we have the integral and we have one more sine x on the top over cosine x on the bottom and then we add this over that. This cosine x and one of them cancel out so we have cosine x over sine x. Ah, so good, isn't it? Because for this one, we can just take a u sub that u equal cosine x and then for this right here, let's put w equal sine x. And then I'm going to let you guys work out the details, but I'll tell you the first one is just going to be, some people will say negative ln absolute value of cosine x, but we can put a negative to the exponent, it becomes cosine x to a negative 1, namely 1 over cosine, namely secant. So ln of secant x. And then we add, this right here will give us ln absolute value of sine x. We are adding two logarithms. We can just put the insides, then multiply. Secant x times sine x is tangent x. So ladies and gentlemen, this is just ln absolute value of tangent x plus c. Done. Not done yet for this one. <laughs> two, right? So none. Stay. Don't, don't go again for the video. Hmm. Integral of secant x, this is a standard one. We know the answer is just equal to the well, natural log of absolute value of secant x plus tangent x plus c. How do we know? Well, it's on my board right here, so of course I know. But jokes aside though, how do we integrate this? The standard way is that we multiply the top and bottom by some stuff. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to integrate this by multiplying the top and bottom by a different stuff. So check this out. Right here, I'm still going to write this as 1 over cosine x, which is similar to what we did over there. And you might be wondering, am I going to write the 1 as, secant, as sine squared x plus cosine x squared? Am I going to write the 1 as sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to? Yeah, that. Not yet. Not yet. I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by some stuff. The stuff is 1 plus sine x. And this right here. Magic. So that's the explanation. But anyway though, here, this is the integral and then on the bottom we have cosine x, right? And then, well, just keep it, I'm not going to distribute it. But on the top, of course, one times that is just that. So we have 1 plus sine x. Now, for this one, I'm going to do that. 1 is equal to sine squared x plus cosine squared x. And have a look. Sine squared x and sine squared x, we can factor out one of the sine x. So this right here, we will have sine x here times, and this will give us one more sine x here, plus 1, over this denominator. Cosine x times 1 plus sine x. And for the other one, we have cosine x over that, and this and that will cancel, so we just have one of the cosine x on the top over this right here, which is 1 plus sine x. Very similar, isn't it? Yes. And better yet, this and that cancel out. So this right here, again, do a use up, but oh, I'm still going to put on the details for you guys. u equals cosine x, and this one, w equals 1 plus sine x. So for this right here, we get ln absolute value of that, secant x. <laughs> and then we add ln absolute value of 1 plus secant x, no, sine x. Guess what? Same thing, right? We're adding this to logarithms, so we can just multiply the insides. Secant x times 1, we have that secant x, and then secant x times tangent, that's tangent, secant x times sine x, we get tangent x. So. This looks so familiar. 
Of course it is, because that's the standard answer. That's it.